uh, Councillor Kitkat, you also have um, a written question to Councillor Khan. Are we going to take those responses as read? Or? I do apologise. It was formally read. It's formally read. Sorry. Okay. I do you have a supplementary. Sorry. Thank you, Chair. Um, so, um, with regards to the question about the number of websites and domain names the Council operates, thank you for the detailed response. I'm most appreciative. Um, I just wonder, given the, the, the administration's commitment to value for money, um, I wonder if taxpayer money would not be better spent on a single high quality website rather than the current sort of sprawl of websites that we see. Um, you know, we could have a single website that was suitable for the world class status of the new media hub in our city. Thank you. Councillor Fallon Khan. Uh, thank you very much, Chair. <clears throat> I think one of the reasons that we are uh, looking to uh, the infrastructure of the ICT and, and looking to, to change it are specifically for the reasons that Councillor Kitkat has been mentioning. We are looking at the infrastructure in its entirety. It is going to be, uh, initially it's going to be cross-party. There are going to be directors involved. There are going to be members from each political party involved. It's going to be such a massive project that we are trying, we, we, we are going to make sure that everybody is consulted and, and ideas such as the ones that you brought forward today are ones that we are going to be considering. So in the next, uh, the next year or so, uh, developing the ICT strategy, as you well know, we've got a new head of ICT who's coming in. Um, everything, every decision that we make as an administration does have value for money attached to it. Every, every time we make a decision what the council taxpayer pays, we have to keep in our minds. So yes, we want to have a fantastic ICT infrastructure, but we also want it to be efficient, we want it to be cost effective, we want the directors and the assistant directors and everybody who works for the council mm -hmm. to be able to have much easier access to information which would be corporate, but also in terms of the, the, the residents, the council taxpayer, the customer experience of the council through its ICT infrastructure um, also has to be of the highest consideration. Uh, we're looking forward very much to having uh, regular meetings with yourself as well as with the Labour Party and the Liberal Democrats as well as the directors and assistant directors. It will be a very, very open forum and we are well aware that there are a number of officers and there are a number of members as well who have great expertise in this particular, particular area and um, we've noted yours in particular in terms of being able to take things off council website and whack it onto YouTube for example that's a, a great that's a, a great level of expertise that we will be looking at and any other ingenuity that we can get from any members or any officers um, in the establishment of the ICT infrastructure will be very welcome thank you thank you councillor uh, councillor Kitkat you do have a, a second supplementary to your second question that's been tabled Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, well, again, I thank um, Councillor Fallon Khan for a very detailed response, and it is disappointing to see that nearly £17,000 of taxpayer money was spent um, due to this uh, virus or worm. Um, and I understand it's not the first virus problem that the Council has had, resulting in, in lost productivity. Um, I also understand that there was initially a plan to use open source software to run the Council website and other systems, but this was rejected in favour of using Microsoft software. Um, and my question to the councillor then is, why does the council continue to ignore open source options and expose expensive Microsoft systems and licenses with all the license fees, security problems and staff costs Sorry, associated with it? Councillor Kitka, I'm not quite sure that was actually a supplementary to your, your original um it, it okay. is, I'm afraid, Madam Chair, because this worm would not have occurred if Microsoft right, systems okay. were not well, used by the council. It, Councillor Kitka, but I think it was slightly stretching it. Councillor uh, Thank you very much for your exceptionally detailed supplementary question. I'm sorry that I can't answer that with uh, the kind of detailed answer that you would require at the moment, but we are going to know all of that and we will get as much information to you as possible in a written answer if that's okay with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Kitkat. 
If we can now move on to item 184, there are no uh, notices and motions today. We move on now to item 185, the report to the overview and scrutiny committees on the ice rink calling. Um, I'm going to hand over to Abraham. Abraham, would you like to just go through the beginning? Thank you. What we have under item 185 are the recommendations of the Overview and Scrutiny Commission. Uh, you have the actual report uh, referred to the Cabinet starting on page 1. The proceedings of 